Homelessness has become a huge social problem across the country and nowhere worse than here in San Francisco in the Bay Area where housing is so expensive. The reality is that the most visible homeless population are the single adults that you see on the street, many of whom are mentally ill and really visibly suffering. And the population we serve, homeless families, are the less visible population. You could walk by a homeless family and you wouldn't realize that they were struggling. when I found out I was pregnant. He had just lost his job like two or three days after I had stopped working. And then we lost our apartment. Everything started going downhill. It was just like one thing after another, like can we breathe? We came 8 o'clock in the morning, not knowing that we couldn't get inside of the shelter for 9 o'clock at night. So we had to sit in front of the shelter all day. So we stood right here. And we waited. And we waited with our bags in tow. Sometimes we would go like at least a day, two, or maybe three days without taking a shower, without even being able to drink clean water. And eating is a whole nother thing. When it was time for us to get some food, we just automatically had it in our bodies to give it to the baby. Everything was about us getting out of the situation that we were in. Whether it be Section A, whether it be a choice-based voucher, anything like that, we, we was just looking because um, we did not want to be the statistics. To go to Compass Shelter, where not only we have our own room, we have a bed that we both can sleep on together. We have our own bathroom. It just changed the way we went about things. Now we were able to breathe. I just couldn't, I can't even imagine that we went through all this stuff. We made it though. It's just, I did not want to bring my baby to no emergency shelter after I had him. And for Compass to give us that room right, right, right before at, I gave birth. Right at the perfect time. Right at the perfect time. It was like God said, because I didn't have to bring him into no stranger. With strangers, a room with 10 people, I didn't have to do that. We came home to quiet. He came home to cleanness. He, he, and we, I say home because that's what it felt like. My name is Bertie Manzelbaum. I work for Compass Family Services. I helped Demila and Anthony when they were at Compass Family Shelter to find permanent housing. Working with Demila around getting her housing uh, was very creative between us. We worked really well together. We both gave each other ideas and she did everything that, that we needed to do. All I remember is us getting a phone call telling us to come to Third and LeConte, fill out some paperwork. We showed Mercy Housing that Demila was serious about getting housing and being able to uh, become a good tenant. To have just the support of Compass and us moving into this place, it was well beyond measure. We're trying to get families housed and keep them housed. We look at the family holistically. If there's legal problems, we want to be able to address those. Employment and education needs, we address those. Mental health, we're there to provide support and therapy. 
We want to help them to continue to move forward toward the goals that they had set for themselves when they started with us. When we got to Compass, it was a different story. It was more of a, let me help you help yourself. yourself. They actually listened to us. They didn't automatically think they knew what we needed and what we were going through. These people actually care. These people actually want to see us thrive. What I really want is just for us to be happy. No matter where we're at, no matter what we're doing, I just want to be happy.